Activist investor Nelson Peltz vying for more than two seats now on Disney's board, setting the stage for a proxy fight. It's the second headline in shareholder activism this week following Elliott Management's billion dollar stake in oil refinery Philip 66. Joining us now with more on all of this, uh, Michael Flatterty. He's the uh, Axios editor. Uh, good morning to you. Morning, Andrew. So, what do we think of this? Well, of let's Disney. Let's talk Nelson first. All right, we'll talk Nelson, Nelson first. Peltz. So, the gloves are off, right? I mean, this is, we don't even have. A nomination deadline start yet right. and letters going back and forth I mean the temperature is turned about as high as you can get when you've got two sides like this and he's clearly um, he wants to be on the board he wants a couple of different directors of his uh, and his firm's um, recommendation to be on the board Disney's made it very clear we don't want you on the board period do we think and I actually asked Bob Iger about this earlier this yeah. week you know some people say take an activist bring him on the board Shut him down, right? That sometimes yeah. people say, bring him under the tent so this whole thing just sort of like goes away. Or yep. maybe not. There's other people who say the second you bring somebody like that on the board, you have now infected the board. And you actually, they do have more influence, even though they're one person, yeah. than anybody else. Yeah. I mean, look, that was a recommendation for years. What's the harm, right, was, was the term used for bring a, you know, an agitated investor on the board and, uh, and, and, and see what happens. I think what uh, several boards and several executives would tell you is that a single person can be extremely disruptive. Now, on the other side of that, of course, right. what, uh, what Tryon would say is, look, we come to every single meeting with a, you know, a right. packet of this but high of information. One, I, I, let me just, I, I, I don't want to take sides in this, but have you heard one idea out of Nelson Peltz's camp at all of, that's unique has not been considered or different than anything coming out of Disney. Right now, we haven't, right? That, I mean, that's what people are, I mean, your, your colleague, right. um, David Faber, mentioned this yesterday. Like, what's the plan, right? You want to, we, we know you want to get on the board. Uh, you know, where's the white paper? I mean, remember, he was critical previously, last year, yeah. when we were in the same uh, situation. Oh, everybody can throw stones, it's throw some solutions. Yeah. And then and throw good solutions is the real issue. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, the, his criticism last year was the M and A strategy, right? He was very critical of the Fox Entertainment asset deal. Right. I mean, that that whole argument now is, is is sort of dated. So we're all waiting to see what is your plan. What do you want from the company? But until he gets a plan, do you think that shareholders will support Nelson Peltz? I mean, Nelson right now it's Nelson Peltz plus I. Correct. Mother. Correct. The question is how much how much influence do you think that they have collectively? Well, I mean, they have. Um, a large chunk of shares, right? I mean, it's 33 million shares, I think, is, is the, the current total. Two and a half billion dollars. I mean, they're going to have to, you have to persuade a lot more you shareholders. Do. You to need BlackRock, you need Vanguard, you need State Street, right? You need, you need the index funds. Now, the it's one thing that's... one percent. What's not, that? It's not even one percent of the shares. Uh, so. Right. It, it's, it's, um, I, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but you, you've got to bring camp. other people in your camp, right? It's, it's 50 plus one. Right. If this thing goes to a vote, you need 50 plus one. It's a 169 so, billion dollar company, so... Right. So I think that, uh, look, right now what they would tell you is the, you know, Disney shares have been lagging considerably, right? So um, I think that they obviously have that in their argument, um, you know, it, it, you know as, as, as a case for change. So look, and this ultimately, I mean, all signs go right now, this, is th this thing's going to a proxy fight. I mean, this, right. this, this meeting's not even until May. And like the letters going back and forth were of the nature yesterday where like there is no, doesn't seem very little room for like negotiating, for settlement, like these two are going at it. Is the dividend announcement a reaction to that, or you think they would have done it anyway? I, I, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't think that's you know, a dividend. I don't think it would ever be like the like the core case of a of an example like this. This is this is um, Nelson Peltz really is is, is waging this battle. Uh, it's 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 a heated battle right now, and you know. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this plays out. Where do you think Value Act, which is the other activist investor that owns some shares in this, sits? Meaning, do you yeah. think that they would vote? alongside in Nelson Peltz to get Nelson Peltz on the board? I mean, I think the, the perception is that it's the opposite of that, right? That Value Act historically has been very constructive, even though exactly. Jeff That's stepped why. down, you know, Mason has, has taken over. Um, but, you know, their, their strategy hasn't really changed. I think the idea is that, you know, the sort of the white knight scenario where, where, where Value Act comes in and is more of a management support um, you know, piece of this whole of this whole fight. Um, you know, Value Act's been silent so far. So, you know, whatever they're you know thinking, right. uh, they've been quiet. But they, you know, Value Act should be viewed as a support of, of Disney and Iger, not right. an agitator. What do you think the actual track record of Nelson Peltz is, both on getting on these boards and on the other side of it, uh, once he had, once he, when he has been successful, getting on the board, meaning what the true performance is? Because you know, you can read lots of different. Uh, analyses of his success rate over over the years agree i mean you know people will point to wendy's people will point to you know pepsico and, and, and other 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 um you know consumer you know product type companies um 
that uh, that he's been influential on. I mean, look, Andrew, studying like what his, you know, what Tryon's, um, you know, success rate over the years, I think depending on the portfolio of a company, I think is, I think it's hard. I think, look, any activist will tell you, I mean, I think they, you know, they might have, remember, Tryon's a concentrated portfolio. I think they probably only have eight to 10 investments, right? right? One or two of those investments, you know, uh, go up 30, 40 percent, then and that, that's a win, right? I mean, the, the, other, the other six or seven could be, you know, could be laggards or, or could be, you know, neutral. I think it's, it's very much based on, on singular campaigns. Right. And of course, they're activists. So they go out there and they do fight the good fight. You know, their LPs, that's what they want right. them to do, right? That's what you're paying them for. So where does this all go and how quickly? I mean, you're right. This is, we're, we're early in the game. Is there any way that this gets shut down early or do you think this just, just becomes nastier and nastier. No, like I said, normally this, if, at this period of time, before the nomination deadline begins, there's a little bit more, like a little bit of jockeying, maybe a letter here, maybe an article there, right? They're in full-on battle mode right now. Just look at the, what was announced, you know, the, 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 right. the, you know, the two statements that came out yesterday. So where, how does this play out? I mean, as of right now, just by judging, you know, where the, the letters are and, and what was said yesterday, um, you know, this thing goes to a vote. Now, it, it, remember, up until the morning of the vote, you can you, you can reach a settlement, right? You can you can take the the strategy as you mentioned. The you know what's the harm? Let's put Nelson on the board. Well, maybe we put one of his representatives on the board, and and there's a little bit of a, of a truce there. But remember, they just put um, you know James Gorman and the former high right. uh, the former Sky News uh, CEO on the board. So that's what Disney's saying is we've got 13 very highly qualified members of the board. And I think Nelson has said there needs to be more like media uh, names uh, on, on the board, and they you know they addressed that yesterday with the Sky News CEO. Right.